My name is Dr. John Okino. I'm one of the urogynecologists at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Lately, there's been significant amounts of discussion both in the media as well as the medical literature regarding the use of mesh in gynecologic surgery. This short video will talk a little bit about how mesh is used and the complications associated with mesh use. I wanted to talk a little bit about the history of mesh use. Initially in the 1960s, mesh was used to treat hernias. This mesh has significantly been refined in the materials that it's been made from, and now it's currently lighter and much less prone to infection. The current meshes used for gynecologic surgery are most often made out of a substance called polypropylene, which is very similar to a sterile fishing wire. Mesh can be used in two different ways in gynecologic surgery. One is to treat stress urinary incontinence, and the other is to treat pelvic organ prolapse. I'll talk a little bit about each of these problems and how mesh can be used to treat them. Stress incontinence is urinary leakage associated with activities such as laughing, coughing, or sneezing, as well as exercise. The treatment options for stress incontinence are both surgical and non-surgical. When surgery is chosen, the most common procedure is called a mid-urethral sling. This surgery involves an incision made in the vagina underneath the urethra and a small piece of mesh is placed underneath the urethra for support. These have been done in the United States since the late 1990s and they're considered safe and effective. There's minimal risk associated with mesh complications in these procedures. As I talked about earlier, pelvic organ prolapse can be treated with surgical mesh as well. Pelvic organ prolapse involves loss of support of the bladder, the uterus, or the vagina, causing a bulge or pressure in the vagina. Again, there are a variety of treatment options, and they include both surgical and non-surgical options. I want to stress that surgical repair of prolapse can successfully be done without the use of mesh. When using mesh, this can be done in two separate ways. The first is an abdominal or a laparoscopic placement of mesh, which involves placement of mesh around the vagina from inside the abdomen and attaching that piece of mesh to the sacrum, which is the large bone above the tailbone. This type of procedure is routinely performed at Mayo Clinic due to its high success rate and low risk of mesh complications. Mesh can also be placed through a vaginal incision in the vagina used to support pelvic organ prolapse. This is something we do not perform at Mayo Clinic due to the increased risk of complications associated with that type of mesh placement. In 2008, the FDA came out with a warning talking about the risks of mesh use in gynecologic surgery. They had noted complications due to mesh use and were going to further investigate the safety of mesh in gynecologic surgery. In 2011, they came out with an amendment to that warning. To summarize, the 2011 warning stated that any mesh is associated with a small risk of complications. However, mesh used underneath the urethra for stress urinary incontinence or mesh placed abdominally for pelvic organ prolapse noted minimal risks associated with that mesh. However, when mesh was placed in the vagina for treatment of pelvic organ prolapse, they noted significant complications associated with that. The most common complication associated with mesh use is called an exposure. This is where mesh that's placed underneath the vaginal skin or around the vagina ultimately comes to lie within the vagina or pokes through the vaginal skin. The risk of mesh exposure is 10 to 20 times higher when mesh is placed in the vagina for pelvic organ prolapse as opposed to underneath the urethra for stress incontinence or abdominally for pelvic organ prolapse. Also significant complications such as chronic pain or pain with vaginal intercourse have been noted after mesh use. Mesh removal can be done, however, this oftentimes involves surgery. The urogynecology division at Mayo Clinic specializes in removal of mesh if needed. Appointment information can be seen below and no referral is necessary for an appointment at Mayo Clinic. I'm Dr. John Okino. 
and we are Mayo Clinic Urogynecology.